Hi everyone, this is Darren Maralia with SDM Software, and today I'm going to talk a little bit in this video about our new GPO Migrator 1.6 release. So GPO Migrator, if you're not familiar with the product, allows you to literally drag and drop settings or select and move settings from one GPO to another. Uh, we also have support in this product, in this version, for what we call our reporting pack snapshots. If you're using our reporting pack product that does inventory and analysis of group policy, you can create snapshot files, and the migrator can consume those, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So in the simplest case, we can migrate GPOs, like I said, either to a GPO, or we also support migration to desired state configuration documents, PowerShell DSC. And that feature is actually free. So you can use that feature of migrating a select number of policy areas from GPOs, live GPOs in your environment to DSC documents. Uh, some of those areas include uh, the admin template settings, security options, restricted groups, to name a few. But let's look at the sort of GPO to GPO migration feature now. And I'm going to just go ahead and grab a GPO. Let's take this admin template migrator master GPO, aptly named because it's got a bunch of admin template settings in it. And I can go ahead and expand that node and select settings from within this particular section of admin templates. So I can choose specific settings. I can choose groups of settings. So all settings under Control Panel, uh, all settings under Internet Explorer. And then I can choose a target. And that target could be in my current domain, or it could be in another domain. In this case, I have a child domain that I'm going to go ahead and migrate this to, and we'll call it uh, Migration Target. And we're going to create a new GPO in that target domain as opposed to create using an existing GPO. I could use an existing one if I wanted to. So now I've got all of my settings selected on the left here, and it shows me the settings that I've selected. And I'm going to go ahead and say Migrate, and the migration will take each setting in turn after creating the new GPO and, and basically move or, or recreate those settings over in the destination GPO in the destination domain. And you see that occurring here. It goes through and migrated 56 settings in a matter of moments. And now we have a new GPO in that destination domain that contains all of those settings that I chose. So just a subset of the ones out of this particular GPO. The other scenario that I can accommodate with Migrator in this 1.6 release is the ability to migrate GPO exporter snapshots. So GPO exporter, part of our GPO reporting pack, I can grab a snapshot out of that has been generated by a reporting pack, which is our analysis and inventory product for group policy. And you'll see here that within that snapshot are actually multiple GPOs and multiple settings within those GPOs. And so I've got some security settings here. I've got some admin template settings here. I've got a drive mapping setting, a GP preferences drive mapping. Similarly, I can open up this default domain policy and grab some of the settings that I'm interested in within that. So maybe I'll grab some of these account policies. So I'm, now I'm into two different GPOs worth of settings. I've got some settings here on caching logons, and I've got some settings under dev security, so desktop wallpaper, personalized screensavers. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of those. And, and once again, I can migrate this to a new GPO or into an existing GPO. And what I'm doing is essentially consolidating three GPOs worth of settings into one GPO. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now I can go ahead and click Migrate. And those settings that I've chosen from those three or four GPOs within that exporter snapshot, within that reporting pack snapshot, within uh, the reporting pack product, it takes those settings and basically just migrates those into this new GPO. 
great. So now I've got my 11 settings into that single GPO. So I've now taken and consolidated a, GPO, a bunch of GPOs into a single one. The other thing I can do is I can transform some of the data in my GPO as I'm migrating it. So let's say I'm migrating from one GPO or from one domain to another, and I know that I have some restricted groups policies and also some GP preferences drive mapping security group filtering on, you know, using item level targeting that is essentially um, targeting a particular user group. What I can do is I can select a source and destination object or principal name and I can give it a the the equivalent group that I want it to be transformed into on the target side so from cpandle sales users into child sales users I can save this as a, a transform file and I'll go ahead and save it in my snapshots directory to easily find it so I'll call it sales transform and now I can close this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and migrate a GPO I have here. We'll call it, we, we called it Mig Demo. And so again, I had some um, restricted groups policy that I had created in this GPO for sales users. And I had a drive mapping that I created, the G drive. And if I select that, you'll see that down here, I've got some item level targeting. We don't enumerate the item level targeting within the, within the migration product, but this is targeting the sales users group in the cPandel domain. So now what I'm gonna say is I'm going to say, go to child and create this new transformed GPO. And when I, before I do the migration, I'm going to tell it to use my transform that I just created. And now I'm going to perform the migration, and I've created these new settings within this new GPO. And if I were to go into that GPO, I would see those new targets. So now, just quickly, I'll show you a little bit about how the DSC migration works. So the DSC migration allows us to essentially pick a GPO in our environment, I'll go back up to my admin template migrator master GPO. I'm going to go ahead and load its settings under admin templates. And now I'm going to go ahead and pick, again, just a subset of the settings that I'm interested in. In this case, I'm just going to pick the IE settings that I've set up here under admin templates. And I'm going to say migrate. Now what it's asking for now is a, is a DSC path. I'm gonna go ahead and put this just on the desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and perform the migration. And what it's doing is it's creating an, a DSC document called admin template migrator master.ps1. And if I go ahead and bring this up in ISE, what you'll see is actually it's in notepad, is that it's created a DSC configuration file that maps to all of the settings that I had specified within that GPO that I selected. So I can grab those IE settings and essentially create their DSC equivalent in a DSC document. So that gives you a little bit of an overview of Migrator 1.6. With Migrator, you get up to four free migrations. So I encourage everyone to download the product from our website, check it out, let us know what you think, and make uh, your life much easier when it comes to reorganizing your group policy objects. Thanks for listening.